Hello, my name is Eric Breau. I'm a front developer at Nuclea and I use a lot of Svelte. I just love it. I'm super happy to participate to the Svelte Submit uh, this year. So I'm here to talk to you about Talk to Svelte. Uh, that's a, a Svelte library, which is providing voice recognition and voice synthesis for Svelte applications. It's based on the Web Speech API, which is widely supported uh, at the moment on all, all browsers, most of the browsers, let's say, and, and on smartphones. And the first question is, why would we need uh, to integrate voice recognition and, and, and synthesis on, on any web application? Well, I see two reasons for that. The first one is kind of obvious, is accessibility. Um, if you cannot use your fingers properly, if you cannot use a keyboard or a mouse uh, for any reason uh, in different contexts, well, maybe using your, your voice to interact with a website is, uh, is a good thing. And it can help in many situations. The second reason is the second reason here is is because most people are using websites using web phones, using smartphones. And uh, well, phones initially has been designed to be used through voice and ear, um, as crazy as it, as it can sound nowadays. So I think that maybe it makes sense to leverage this uh, when you are building a, a web application. So let's see how it works. Um, all you need to do is to import a directive from talk to Svelte, and then you can put it on um, any kind of element, like a button or a link that you want to interact with. With the direct di directive, you can decide which going to be the voice command associated with that. And by just saying it, uh, it will activate the, the click event or any other event you want to, to trigger from that. So that's basically how it goes. So. Now, now let's let's see a demo to see to see what what it does exactly. All right. So first, I enable voice recognition. Here we go. And now I can start interacting with this web page by voice. Let's try. Click. Okay. The counter is incremented. It just worked. Cool. Menu. Menu. Examples. Okay, I've been navigating to this page just by saying cloud, so that's cool. Um, let's move this uh, blue square in the grid. Right. Right. Down. Up. Okay, works. Uh, this example now. Origin. Origin. Mexico. Destination, Paris. All right, so you can see we can define context where each uh, command can be, can, be, can be used even though they are the same. Uh, now let's go with free text input. So record. I love that and this is a great demo. So menu, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say stop. Stop, come on. All right, so now I did stop registering uh, the, the, the free text input. Good, menu, menu. Languages. All right, so as you could see, it was a bit challenging for me to use voice command in English because I don't have a super good accent. I'm not a native speaker, obviously, but the system works with all languages. I have here a small list. Let's switch to French, which is my nat native language. And let's try with that one. Canard. Okay, cool. I got a duck. So that's how it goes. You can use that in any Svelte application. It can perform any interaction you want. And that's a very fun to use. That's the end of the demo. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this demo. 
And well, if you want to contact me, here is my, my contact information. And you can check the demo on talktosvelve.zversal.app if you want to. There is also a GitHub repository, so feel free to check it, make pull requests or whatever. Thank you.